Hi guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart, and today I thought we could do a little stationery chat. I want to do some organizing of some of the new things that I've purchased recently and things I got for Christmas. Um, this video will probably be a little bit all over the place, and please excuse my voice. I am still getting over whatever nonsense, cold, or whatever I have. Um, and also, if you can hear my fan, I apologize. Um, I have the heater on. It's so cold. It's so cold today. Um, so if you watched my Galen Leather haul, this is actually the box that came with this. But I like to reuse these boxes. Um, they're pretty sturdy, like surprisingly sturdy. They remind me of like the even thicker than the photo boxes that you would maybe get at like Michael's. So I thought I would reuse this because why not, you know, recycle. Um, and plus the box is really pretty anyway. I have some stamps that I had recently purchased and I don't really have a good space for them at the moment. Um, I'm trying to, like I said in like a previous video, I'm trying to like make it so that my stationery is like in my face so that I don't forget what I have. So I want to go ahead and put some of these stamps. These actually came from a, um, oh, what is that store called? Is it called Little Happy Things? I think that's what it's called. I will link that um, haul in the cards if I have it up. But I purchased some stamps from there and then also a person purchased some stamps from Nico Neko, some of the LCN um, new collection. So I just kind of want to like keep some of this new stuff together so that I remember that it's there. And plus I had it like stacked over here and I know that if I'm not careful I will knock it off my desk and then I'll have to like move the desk to try to get it and so yeah. Um, I wonder if I should try to fill this up more. I have some stamps in my desk drawer, but I don't know. Yeah, let's put a few of them in here. Just some things that I've been wanting to use more. I have been using these quite a bit. I got these from Nico Neko. I do not remember the name of the brand, but they're really cute. I'm just all into anything snail mail, so that was calling my name and then this one as well it's got the little airmail with a uh, swallow so I think that's all that I want to put in there for now maybe oh no I should put this one in there too I haven't used that one very often yet so I'm just trying to make I really need this what I really need to do is sit down and create like a capsule um, stationary thing so I'm kind of doing that actually with my stickers and some washi tape. So I have this little pouch. I believe it's a Midori mesh pouch. Uh oh, I got something on my hands. What did I get on my hands? Please excuse the state of my hands. <laughs> I have no idea what I got on my hands. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I... So I got this pouch, I think, from Tokyo Pen Shop. It was really cheap. So I've been wanting to make sure that I use the stickers that I have. So I've been putting like the bigger sticker sheets in here and I'm trying to like keep some of the newer things or just things that I want to use up. So I've been putting those in here. And then in the front pocket, I've been putting like little stickers um, flake stickers like these and then also pieces of washi tape you know how you get like the long rolls and you can like cut them off they have the backing on it like I'll cut off a few pieces and maybe it's like to get down to a piece down at the bottom and then I have all this extra washi tape laying around so I've been putting it here so that I remember to use it and this is I guess like my capsule sticker bag this is where I go to first when I'm journaling um, and trying just to use this up. It's really, this needs to be the year of using, using what I have. So I'm going to move this to the side. I think, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bring it back in a minute. So 
this was something I purchased from Cute Things from Japan. They had this um, little small thing or hello small things collaboration with I believe the designers Eric. Um, so it had all these like cute little things. It has two stamps in each set. They're different in each set. So this is like travel and stationery themed. So there are the stamps for this one. And I was going to put them in here so that I remember I have them. It also came with washi tape and an ink pad, some stickers, and a little like thing of memo sheets. They're all, I think there's like four different designs. So I want to put this washi tape in the washi tape dispenser and that will be what we do next. I'm thinking I want to get this like combined together so that, so I'm going to put this in my sticker bag. So it comes with two sheets of stickers. It's so cute. And then I guess this is just a little card and then there's a postcard. I was thinking about putting like my postcards in a box so I may like I'm definitely holding on to these boxes they're good quality and they're really cute so I was thinking about putting postcards that I want to use up in maybe this box but then I don't know what to do with this because I think this is a postcard but this is just a like a just a card maybe I'll stick that in my traveler's notebook so I'm going to put this to the side because I have like a bunch of postcards that I recently got when we went to the Getty. I've been enjoying sending like little random postcards to pen pals, especially right now because I have been really slow to respond because I've been so busy and I just want to make sure that they know I'm, I'm not forgetting about them. So I'm going to put this over here. So let's put these little guys in here. So hopefully when I'm journaling, I will come to this box first before I start digging through any other stamps. And then let's open up this one. So it has basically the same thing. It has the washi tape and this is like, I guess, camp theme camp slash like sketchbook art themed i couldn't decide on which one i wanted so i just got both of them i know i'm bad i'm so bad so yeah this is really cute i'm gonna put this here because i want to put it in my washi tape dispenser i'm gonna go ahead and take the card oh i took the little paper off of these so i can show you the different designs so there's one design there's two there's three and then there's four so it's so cute I love these little memo sheets I think that they'll be handy to um, they'll be handy to use in my travelers uh, notebook because I'm using like craft paper but if I want to use a lighter colored pen that doesn't show up well on the craft paper insert these will be perfect for like writing I'm gonna keep this in here for now until I can figure out how to like reorganize my ink pads. I do need to get rid of some of them. I know some of them had dried out, like some of the cheaper ones that I purchased like years ago. I definitely in January, I'm gonna be doing a no spend, no spend on stationery. And I'm also going to be doing some decluttering and I just th I think it's important to take time to go through our things and make sure that what we have is still things that we need to have or things that are still good not you know expired or dried out or all that stuff so I'll put these up here oh I accidentally pulled one of these out I'll just stick it back in here I'm just gonna put this one in here as well I'm trying to like downsize how many containers I have floating around because I have quite a few so let's move this to the side that's for postcards 
Okay, so if you, let's do this first. <laughs> like I said, I am all over the place. Have you guys been doing any decluttering? Have you been doing a lot of purchasing? I feel like, I know I've said this a bunch, the end of the year just really got to me. Like, I don't know, the end of, of the year stress and just the fact that I was being really good up until the end of the year. I just, I don't know. I opened the floodgates and said, let there be stationary. <laughs> so this is the Galen leather uh, new case that I purchased or that I got for Christmas. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six. So it holds six pens. My goal is to not have more than six pens inked up. Right now, all the pens in here, I think minus one, no. All the pens in here are inked up and I really need to not have that be the case. So what I'm going to do is put the pens in here that I want to use. So this was a new purchase. This is the um, new Pelican M200 Golden Burl. Is that what it's called? Anyway, I put the matching ink in there. I think it's so pretty. It's like so golden and shimmery. So this one, since I just got it and just inked it up, will definitely be going in there. I, I bought a new nib for this one. This is another Pelican M200. This was like a couple years ago, like the spring green limited edition one, although you can still find it. Um, I have this inked up, but I don't know if I want to use it right now. I did purchase a new nib for this because the nib that came on this one was super scratchy and I wanted to replace it because it was like I wasn't using the pen because I didn't like the nib. So I'm going to stick this here. I'm going to put my sailor in here as well. Like if I had to say what my favorite pens are, like this platinum pen, um, I think it's the 3776. I only have one of these. It's a beautiful pen. It writes beautifully. It's so smooth and just, you know, the glare from overhead. It's really pretty pen. And then the sailor pen is just gorgeous. And after writing with this, like I was worried about because I had such a bad experience with the nib that came with my other M200, I was worried that it was just like Pelican just had really poor nibs, but that is definitely not the case. Um, this nib writes like butter. It's seriously um, super smooth. Let me bring you in a little closer. Okay, so this is another case where I don't like the nib. This is my only um, Esterbrook. I believe it's a fine nib. I feel like this nib is like super scratchy and it doesn't flow well. It may be the ink that I have in it. I think I have a Birmingham ink in here, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't flow super well, so I may end up just cleaning this out and putting it to the side. This was also a new purchase. This is the uh, Pelican, is it M400? It's the Sovereign. I have not inked this up yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to. I'm assuming that it's going to be a gorgeous writer. It looks like it should be, so we'll see. Um, I cannot decide which ones I want to keep. I guess what I should figure out like which ones have the most ink in them right now. This is a Monteverde, uh, is it Invincia? It is a heavy pen, but it writes like a dream. So let's see how much ink's in here. So I barely have any ink in here. I could probably clean this one out. I, I really don't like wasting ink, so <laughs> if possible, I, um, We'll pick the pens that I have the least amount of ink in. I think this was the Hank's Diary. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure this one has a pretty small converter. So let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have much ink in here. I could probably write like a 
letter and then that would be all she wrote <laughs> with this. So I think I'm going to put this to the side to write use this to write like another letter and that'll probably be the end of that ink in there. I also have this Coweco student and I think the converter on this one is pretty small as well but I'm not sure. Okay so this one definitely needs to be cleaned. This one is out of ink so I can clean this one. So this is my too clean pile. So I guess that means I'm gonna move. So I have this Twisby filled and I'm going, I wanna go ahead and use this up. So I'm gonna stick this one in there. And then let's go ahead and try to use this up. I'm gonna check to see how much ink is in this one because I may be able just to clean it. I think I'm gonna purchase a different nib. Oh, it's clean. I think. No, there's residue in there. If it's not clean, I'm going to clean it again. Yeah, it looks like it just needs another like rinse. So this one is not inked, which is good. So I guess the last one I'll put in there is this. Wait, no, this one, this one had some ink in it. See, I can't even remember what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, obviously it has ink in it because I just got ink on my hand. Yeah. Okay. I am going to put this one in here and then when it runs out of ink, then I will swap it out for something. So this one needs to be cleaned. Okay, so the ones in here just need to be cleaned. So I will put those to the side to be cleaned at a later time. So yeah, this will be my like fountain pen lineup for the moment. I do have my Twisby over there, my white one, and that one desperately needs to be clean. I just need to find that tool that comes with them so that I can open it completely to clean it because that's honestly the best way it's going to get cleaned. So put that to the side. And then let's figure out what um, washi tapes are going to go on this. So one second, um, pull my washi tapes out. Okay, I'm back. It took me quite a bit longer than I thought it would. Um, I had to do some stuff for the kids and then I had to like dig out some of this washi tape. So I know I have more on here, more over here than we'll be able to fit. So I thought I would look through these. These are ones that, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> these are ones that I want to use more often. So first let's put these on here. So let's see think that and I don't really remember the brands of any of these see I have one of these something very similar to this in my drawer right now so maybe not that one definitely this one and this is what I'm talking about like neutral it's just more like this kind of collage style with like typography and other like abstract elements oh sounds like kids are fighting my husband's out there with them so hopefully <laughs> hopefully he can take care of it um there's this one that is like a floral then i have these with like the fox that's a mailman i think it's so cute and then also the goose so and i have this one with the circles on it and then a few more like with the abstract kind of um, shapes and typography. This is a Bamkuchen one. I think this tape is called Metamorphosis. It's really pretty. It's kind of neutral. So, oh wow, I can almost get all of these on here. Let's see. Um, 
trying to decide. Maybe this. I wish I had a thinner one. Let's see. I might have some thinner ones in my drawer right now. I try to swap out washi tapes fairly often. I do have some thinner ones in here and that way I could put some of these in my drawer if I am so inclined to do so. Um, so I think if I had two of this size, I could do that. And my dog's whining at the door. I swear, it's like whenever I'm trying to do anything, everyone in the house needs me for some reason. It's like they have a sixth sense about it. Okay, I think this is what we're going to do. It's kind of fun just to do that. So I think this is what I'm going to put on there for now, and I will definitely be switching it out here and there, actually, because I'm kind of like, you know, retentive about things. Oops. This one, like, matches the lighter color. I know. I'm going to organize them by color. <laughs> Not really, but there we go. Okay, that feels a little more balanced. Of course, if I really wanted to, I could move this. Okay, I'm not going to do that. So here it is. I'm excited. Hopefully this will mean that I will be using these up more often because that is the whole goal is to like know what I have and use it. Do I have this? No, I have one that's very close to this. Okay, so I don't have it, this one already in my drawer, but I have one that's very similar. I'm like running out of room. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I need to like organize. I did end up putting some postcards in that box, um, but it's like off to the side. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this interesting. Let me know if you're organizing your things right now or, you know, how are, how's your decluttering or what you're doing with your stash coming in the new year. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.